This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an Ultralock brand smart lock. Now, this is a higher end product with versions costing as much as $300, and the build quality does reflect that. We see more metal, higher quality plastics, better fit and finish, and the full range of smart lock features. We have a keypad, fingerprint reader, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, smart home integration, and probably a few other things. But what caught my attention were two very unusual features relating to the mechanical backup cylinder. That's in here. These are features that the average user would never notice. One's good and the other is just weird. Now that backup cylinder can be accessed by pulling out on the bottom of the keypad and then the whole thing folds open. And the first unusual feature relates to the key. The shape of the bow, that's the technical name for the part you hold, that shape indicates a keyway from the Schlage family, likely their C keyway. But the blade is in the shape of a quickset keyway. That's like finding a Ford logo on your Dodge truck. It's just unthinkable to anyone who knows North American locks. The bow should look something like this. The other oddity is an anti-bump security feature that is very rare in North American locks. I have to take this apart to show it to you, so let's pick it open first. I'm going to be using my KW1 Leashy tool. This, of course, I sell over on covertinstruments.com. I should note that our Black Friday sale is still going on, and all of our Leashy tools have the steepest discounts we have ever offered. So if you're ever thinking about getting one or more of these, now is definitely the time. So let's insert this into our keyway, put some tension on the lock, and get to picking. Okay, click out of one, click on two, click on three, Four is springy, five is binding, little click there, nothing on one, click on two, and we got this open. Okay, let's take this apart and I will show you what's inside in addition to that unusual feature. Okay, we first need to remove the core, that requires a couple of screws be removed. Okay, here is our core. We need to take this back cap off. I have a special tool for that, but you can really just use the tip of a pen if you really wanted to. Now we can get a key and a follower and it will come apart. Okay, let's dump these key pins out first. And let's get the driver pins next. And there's no surprises here. These are all standard pins. one. Now the unusual feature that I was referring to is the fact that one of these key pin holes, the one for number three, is not drilled as deep as the others. And I can show you that by looking at this long key pin. I'm going to drop it into hole number four. You can see it drops all the way down. Now I'm going to take that same key pin and drop it into the hole for pin number three. And you can see it is considerably higher. 
Now, when that key pin doesn't drop down as far, it means that a standard bump key like this one will never engage with it. Effectively, it makes it impervious to standard bump keys. I've seen this on some European locks, but it's exceptionally rare in North America, and I'm not sure I have ever seen it on a lock without any other apparent manipulation countermeasures. So, that is a very unusual feature found in this Ultralock Smart Lock. I can't say I'm impressed with the anti-pick uh, features, but as far as the bump resistance, it doesn't get much better. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.